Hey guys, Minecraft TV here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Action by the company Marillus. Uh, first of all, I just want to apologise if there's any background noise. It's a really sunny day in Wales, and unfortunately, everyone is now outside, like mowing their gardens, and my windows aren't very good at keeping out sound. I'll try and edit it out, and I'll do the best I can, but it's just a sorry in advance. Now, if you have done any game recording or screen recording, the chances are you've actually heard of software such as Fraps, Bandicam, or DX Tori. And you've probably tried them all. Um, Action, I think, is a little bit less known. I mean, I couldn't find it straight away. I had to be introduced to it. But in my opinion, this is by far the best software you're going to get for recording. Um, so yeah, let's have a quick look into it. Now, the first thing you'll notice to the left of the screen, which is here, um, is that we have a browser. Now, that is... <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's very important, but to me or to anyone who does a lot of video recording it, it just saves so much time than having to hunt through folders after folders of where the recording are especially if you use different sort of uh, software so if we click here look we can well if there were more than one we'd be able to see them all we can change uh, by date by size by name it's just all it's really convenient to have basically um, yeah what we can also do from here is if we click export selected file which I can't do because we're actually recording to this file. It lets you uh, render the video uh, into smaller video, smaller videos, or different sizes, different formats, uh, different quality settings within the software, and then you can upload that directly to YouTube as well. So if you're not really interested in the actual video editing and you just want to show your mates, a f you know, some clips of you playing a game. You can do that really quickly with this. Um, it will upload it to your channel and everything for you. So that's quite a nice benefit. Another thing I like uh, Action for is the fact that it doesn't just limit you to screen recording or game or application recording. It actually allows you to do both. So if we have a look here, we have games and application. So anything which uses DirectX or OpenGL, you can, or the Action will actually bind to it and the FPS will sort of you know show in the left hand corner or as an overlay um, and you just simply just press F9 and there you go you're recording your application it really is that simple um, I mean you can almost do that straight away from just download in fact you can probably do that if you just download action and you go into the game and press F9 it'll probably or you know it'll start recording for you it is that easy the setting I'm currently on is active desktop and that will record everything which is on the screen uh, so for example if I move see we go it'll, it will sort of move it. it's recording everything which is on my screen as it says in the uh, sort of name of it the last one we have is active desktop region which again is a really cool one it actually brings up a box which you can expand or sort of make smaller and it will record everything in that box now that's pretty good if you do a lot of browser based games where you can actually just move the box over the game and click record and there you go you're recording the game so that's pretty cool uh, another good thing about action is the file formats now we have a selection of three here you have AVI, MP4 480p and MP4 Intel Quick Sync Video now the one I think for the best quality is AVI which is the one which everyone uses uh, we also have MP4 480p which is really good if your computer can't sort of handle the stress of recording and playing a game at the same time and you're not too worried about quality you just click that one there and it sort of puts a lot of less stress on your computer so you can do a bit more you know higher frame rate and everything we have mp4 intel quick sync video which i'm not too sure about i know it's new uh, a new feature for well intel chip only sort of the i range um i need to have a quick look at that one i would probably do another video but uh, uh, yeah, so there are three options there. Uh, another really, really, really good thing for action, which is I desperately needed, was the fact that it actually splits audio channels on your uh, file. So, for example, when I finish recording this and I drag this file in the actual AVI file into Sony Vegas, the audio channels will not just be one, there'll be two. So, my microphone has a separate audio channel um, uh, from my system audio. So if my microphone is too loud or too quiet in certain parts, I can boost it or lower it. And if my system audio is drowning out my voice, I can just lower the system audio. 
and that is so handy because the amount of times I used to use fraps I mean I think on the let's play I did sort of three different recordings uh, because fraps was well, just not set right I mean my microphone would be too loud or I'd have the audio up on the game way too loud as well and it used to be really annoying having to go back undo everything I did and record but with this I can pretty much do it in one recording no problems whatsoever now another awesome thing about action is it doesn't just focus on video recording we have here we can do audio recording now I personally never use this but you can record it uh, you can use it to record sort of Skype conversations uh, anything you want basically anything like your microphone you can just record your microphone using it um, it's, it's pretty you know there's, there's more options uh, we can take photos we can do benchmark settings or do a benchmark I mean that is pretty good you know for software which only costs sort of about 20 pound I think now another pretty cool feature which action allows you to do is webcam now anyone who wants to do face cam you sort of using fraps I believe yeah if you want to use fraps or I think bandicam I'm not sure if they support it then you'd have to do fraps recording your game and then you'd have to do another software recording your webcam and that just adds additional stress to everything and and you've got two applications running uh, but this is all nicely done in one it all gives you one nice AVI file or whatever format you want and it's all there for you which is really handy in fact you can actually record two I believe uh, if we go into video settings or recording settings we can actually uh, add an image onto the recording so if you have a logo which you would like uh, to add to your recording say on the left top left as it says here you just click here and we can actually add uh, if we click that there we'll actually add a sort of that logo or that image which I'm not going to do because it's just a screenshot um, onto anywhere on the screen where you want it uh, there we see we've got these options quite a few and it will remain there for the rest of the recording um, when you render it which is pretty good uh, something I haven't tried yet but I really would like to try soon um, I'm not sure if this is available for iOS I know it's available for Android though, but I may be wrong there for the iOS. Is that it has enable action remote control. Now, if you have your F1 to F12 keys binded for any sort of game, say like Minecraft, which I do, F3 shows the uh, FPS, the sort of coordinates and all that lot. But then if I have F3 set on here to do the recording, there's obviously going to be a bit of confliction, um, which is really annoying. So I'd either have to go in and change all the settings for one of the applications, so I have to change the sort of hotkeys. Instead, on action, I don't have to. I can go on my phone, I can click record, and it automatically starts recording. It is really that easy, um, which is it's just so handy. So that means you don't have to go messing with all your settings. So if you have them all really nicely set up, you have to go change sort of like the hot uh, the hotkeys and everything. It's just really annoying, but. Uh, yeah, that's why Action is just so much better. I mean, if you take a look at their website, we can see the prices here. It's $29.95, uh, or if you're from the UK, like myself, it's £20.95. I mean, that, it's not expensive. If you've got a part-time job, if you want to get into recording, it's not a lot to pay. I mean, they offer a free trial, uh, so you can see whether or not you like it, and see if you get any FPS drops. Now, personally, I have not got any FPS drops yet from it. Uh, it's, you know, I've always, whenever I record, it's always been at a steady 30. Uh, I've not noticed any sort of major stress on the laptop either. Uh, so it's definitely a good software to keep uh, in mind for when you're, if you're going to start recording, or it's definitely one to check out, at least the free trial, if you want to start recording. Um, so, yeah, it's Marillus Action. Uh, there you go. I hope I've sort of raised awareness for it a little bit. Um, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, peace.